In a video I released a few days ago, I showed off some oddities and glitches with the Elytra glider wings. Link can be found on the top right of the screen. In another video, I also showed off how I was aiming for every perfect enchantment on every item, and I'm almost there. But after that video, I realized I've never properly shown off the most effective way to fly with the Elytra, maneuver with them, or have sick aerial dogfights with them. So strap yourselves in, we're going for a ride. So the premise of the Elytra glider seems pretty obvious. Jump off a building, press space bar, yay! But there's a lot more that goes into getting the best performance out of them, including abusing enchantments, keeping your eye on the F3 menu, and more. And if you're still watching this video, you're probably curious, so let's just get started. If you're using the Elytra glider wings on survival mode, the first thing you want to do, if you can, is get Unbreaking 3 on your Elytra. These things are stupidly fun, and you will drain the durability pretty quickly. So quickly, in fact, that the Elytra without Unbreaking will only last 7 minutes and 11 seconds, but with Unbreaking 3, it'll last about 26 to 28 minutes. Also, get an Unbreaking 3, Punch 2, Infinity Bow if you can. If you want to put mending on these items, the best way to get a mending book is by trading with any librarian villager until you find one that will give you a mending book. Though the elytra can be repaired with leather if it breaks, as you guys can see here it can't be repaired forever as the enchantment cost will eventually get too high. Though mending will obviously allow you to repair these things forever. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get into the good stuff. My first rule of the Elytra is no sudden movements. No matter what you're doing, don't suddenly jerk in one direction while you're flying to make some kind of insane change with your flight path, unless you're aiming to go straight down, in which case you're good to go. But by whipping yourself from side to side, or straight up, will cause you to lose momentum exceptionally fast, if not immediately. Tip number two is how to maintain maximum flight speed. You're going to want to keep your F3 menu open for optimal results and look at the glide angle. Now I've seen some text that shows what the optimal glide angle is both upward and downward, but honestly I don't really agree with it. I agree with the technique that I found in this video, will be linked in the description below, where I learned that the best thing that you can do is achieve as fast a speed as you can, then go up at 40 degrees, then when you reach the apex of your flight quickly transition to going down 40 degrees fall about 60 to 80 meters then quickly switch back to 40 degrees up if you do this right you might be able to achieve near infinite flight but either way you can go incredibly far this way without needing a punch to bow and after some initial testing yeah you can bet your butt that this strategy allows for infinite flight, but it is really precise, so I'd still recommend the bow technique if you're looking to have fun. However, the last point doesn't matter too much if you follow tip number three, abuse the punch to bow enchantment. While in flight, if you let off the quickest and lightest arrow shot you can, the arrow will very likely hit yourself, giving you a huge speed boost. This isn't a glitch or a bug or anything like that. It's likely not ever going to be removed either. It's been a part of the game for quite some time now. And if you get really proficient at this, you can also shoot yourself while flying almost vertically, giving you a huge vertical boost, allowing you to reach whatever height you want. I've gotten as high as 2,000 blocks within about a minute or so using this technique. This tip is exceptionally useful if you want to build your base far away from the spawn area, or look for villages to find those librarians who trade mending books. It's also useful for free roaming in the nether, or flying above the nether ceiling to get up to a million blocks or more away from the spawn if you do this long enough. You can also achieve incredibly easy takeoff using this method. If you jump into the water while in flight mode, then spam arrow shots from the bow, you can literally take off from a standstill from the surface of the water when you're in elytra flight mode. It's crazy. Alright, last up are aerial dogfights. I personally use my elytra on my Minecraft Realm server. At this point, I don't have a whole lot left to do there because I have perfect, legitimate enchantments on pretty much every item. But one thing that never gets old are aerial battles. There aren't any specific tips that I have for this other than take full advantage of the previously mentioned tips and have a lot of fun. And also keep in mind lag that exists within Minecraft as well. You may need to do 
your arrow shot or your sword hit a little earlier than you might otherwise expect. So learn how lag works and have a lot of fun. So that just about wraps things up. I hope you guys found these tips useful and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like on it. It helps out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. And I know that I say that a lot, but with your continued support, this channel really has begun to grow again and it's growing quite fast. So thank you guys very much. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. My name is Antvenom and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.